Hey, um, I am exhausted because I went to Dashboard Confessional last night, and I would like to tell you about it. I'm actually going to read to you about it from my LJ, which I kind of wrote as a script for this video. I am just that lame. Okay, bringing up LJ. Is it going to be weird if I just read from this? Probably. I think I'm going to try it anyway. So, last night I had the incredible experience of being able to reaffirm the fact that I am madly in love with Chris Caraba by going to the concert at the Electric Factory. So, this close-up I'm feeling very, hello, these are my imperfections, but... I'm really tired and I don't want to sit up straight anymore. Okay, so, back to the point. Dashboard was amazing. Um, they had two opening bands, um, John Ralston and Augustana, if I'm not mistaken. Augustana, I didn't know I liked them, but they were amazing. John Ralston was good too, but Augustana was amazing. Like, I got one of their songs from one of those, like, iTunes freebie things, and... I didn't really like it, but it seemed like one of those vaguely I would be into this if I gave it a chance kind of things, and I just never did. And I was right. They were amazing, and I did like them. So, the coolest thing was that their lead singer was, you know how bands have like, there you go again, beer or water or whatever up on stage with them to drink? He had tea with like the steam coming up and the little tea bag thing hanging over the edge. It was adorable. So after they finished, um, they took like an hour to set up for Dashboard. Literally. They played every Jimmy Eat World song known to man. Probably more like 12 songs, but that's a lot. Throw together a room full of Dashboard fans and you're bound to have at least 70% Jimmy Eat World fans. So we all sang along to that while we waited. I don't know why it took so long, because Chris Caraba plays an acoustic guitar and has like 12 water bottles on stage with him. What's so complicated about that, I'm not entirely sure. Although it may have been the pile of guitar picks, because he threw one out after like every third song. So Dashboard is totally like a couple's concert. I mean, it's hopeless, romantic, tragic boy with his guitar music, which I love. 90% of his concert going demographic is probably couples. The other 10% is like 9% girls that wish they were a couple and 1% gay men. This I know because I had the opportunity to stand next to one who sang along quite admirably to every single song. So that was mildly depressing, but I did have fun people watching. There was this one guy behind me who kept saying he wanted to break up with his girlfriend and his friend was like, you can't do that at a dashboard concert, that's just too much. And there was this one girl who I'm pretty sure was there with her dad because she was standing about two feet in front of this big guy and she wouldn't look at him, she wouldn't talk to anybody. She just stood there scanning the crowd through the lens of her camera phone and looking generally angsty. And of course I got lucky enough to stand by a bunch of fangirls who were like, I love you, Chris, you're so hot, marry me! Which he is, and I would but I didn't feel the need to scream it out every five seconds. And continued, Sexy beast! Oh, Chris, play this song, play that song! And then got really annoyed when he didn't play that song immediately when he was asked, from people that couldn't even hear him. But that said, he did play a lot of really good songs, some of his best. What am I talking about? They're all his best. I love them all. And he did converse with the audience quite a lot, which was really cool. Um, and he did take a couple of requests, so it all worked out just fine. I had to leave um, right as the encore began because I had to catch the last train and not be stranded in Philadelphia all night. Um, and so they may have played Hands Down during that encore, which is my favorite song. Um, but they also played my second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth favorite songs, probably. So I was really happy. Such was the adrenaline factor in this experience that I came home, got here about 10 after 1, and didn't go to bed until 3.30, at which point I was completely wiped out. So now I'm recovering. Good night!